Alright, so what's up? It is Shiny here, back again with another live commentary, because these just seem a lot easier to make than normal commentaries, plus I can stretch them out for a really long amount of time, and get the motherfucking... Yeah, I'm joking, obviously. Today I want to talk about collabs in Chapter 4, because, let's be real, Fortnite and collabs are kind of synonymous with each other now. Honestly, for people who haven't, or are still being fucking pansies over Fortnite collabs, I mean... First of all, I don't know why you're still playing a game. Second of all, I don't know why you don't just expect them at this point. Third of all, just ignore them. It's it's quite easy to just ignore Fortnite collabs unless they're the seven, which you know what I'm not I'm not gonna get into that right now. Today I want to talk about the collabs that we're getting in chapter four. Because we've already gotten two or three, technically, and I think they're looking pretty good so far. So the first collab that in my opinion we got with chapter four was the Doom Slayer, and I'm gonna be real with you, I love Doom. I've played Doom 2016. I played, I want to say about half of Doom Eternal, and it was really good, by the way. I just never went and finished it, and I no longer have access to the game, so I'm probably gonna buy it again eventually, but it was a really good game from what I had played, and I do kind of want to go back and finish it now. Because he got put in Fortnite, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of just felt a random surge of uh, want to play that game again. Uh, so yeah, Doomslayer, you know, they did him really well. I think that the model that they used for him, or that they made for him, looks pretty spot on to the actual Doomslayer in the games, which I actually really like. But yeah, no, the, the Doom Club, really good. I absolutely adore it, and I think that Epic Games did a really good job with it. So congratulations, Epic, you're already starting off strong. Also, like, we have a battle pass with no Marvel in it, and I, I know... You know, Marvel and Fortnite, they're kind of like one in the same, I guess is a good way of putting it. Like, they go together like bread and butter. That doesn't mean I'm not tired of it, though. I would say I'm actually quite tired of the uh, Fortnite Marvel collabs. And we did just get one in the shop, but we'll get to there. I'd argue the next collab that we did get, but we don't have access to quite yet, is the Witcher collab. With Geralt of Rivia. Honestly, I like how he looks a lot because I kind of dig like that whole like medieval vibe that he's got going on. You know, that's kind of like my thing. I uh, well, it's not my thing, but it's a thing that I like a lot in terms of media. But I have never like watched The Witcher show. I've never played the games. I like. I just don't know much about him. If someone in the comments could tell me more about The Witcher, I would really appreciate it. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I feel like no desire to go and actually play The Witcher games. I don't really think they look all that appealing to me personally. Maybe the show, but I, try I did try to watch the show. and It just wasn't my thing. I don't know. It just wasn't my thing. But yeah, no, if someone could, and someone who knows about it, I might add, explain what The Witcher actually is in the comments, I would really appreciate it. And I will pin your comment. I will pin your comment, I promise. If you are able to, like, really explain it for me. Because I, I just, I, I don't know jack about The Witcher. And I want to be able to know more. So that way I can understand the collab a bit better but he does look pretty cool design wise he's great kind of hope he has an edit style where he has like more armor and shit because like as it stands he just doesn't look all that special oh what the y'all saw that too right good bye But yeah, no. Um, Witcher, it does look good. I, I'll probably, I'll probably end up using the skin sometimes. Pro probably not all the time though. I do think that the collabs we are going to be getting are going to be pretty good though. So let's talk about the most recent one, with it being the Hulk. The Hulk. You know, I, it's kind of an expected skin that I knew we were going to be getting at some point. I'm surprised we didn't get him earlier, to be honest with you. But I guess they just wanted to do She-Hulk first for whatever reason, and I don't really like She-Hulk all that much. So it was kind of just like, oh yeah, let's let's 
wait an ass long time to put one of arguably the most popular Marvel characters in the game. I, I don't know. It just confuses me. I don't really care for the whole. I, I don't really think he's like all that special. Personally, not going to be buying the skin because, again, I'm not a Marvel fan as much anymore. I used to be, but not as much anymore. Hopefully we get some more, and I do. we are going to be getting some more. So this Friday, on the 16th, we're going to be seeing My Hero Academia come to Fortnite. Now, I don't know much about My Hero Academia. I know a couple of the characters. I know of Deku, and I know of Ochiko. And I believe his name is All Might, like the big, like, buff blonde guy. I don't know much about the characters. I know people absolutely hate Deku. And I know that people like shipping in this community, which I mean, I'm not opposed to like the idea of that, but I'm not really into that, you know, like <laughs> it's not my thing. It's not my thing. So it, like what I'm trying to say is I don't really care if people do it because it's just it's fictional characters. Like I, I it really does not bother me if someone is into shipping and whatnot, but you know, it's just not really my thing, and the anime just never really looked all that interesting to me, personally. I don't see the appeal in it. My favorite anime collab in Fortnite is still going to be Dragon Ball, most likely, because I actually like Dragon Ball. I think Dragon Ball is pretty good. I've watched, like, I've, I've, I'm, like, halfway through uh, Super now, Dragon Ball Super, and I, I'm going to probably end up learning more about Dragon Ball Z through Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Uh, I've had people tell me to watch that instead of the actual Dragon Ball Z, so that's probably what I'm going to do, but... Hey, man, I, I, I kind of dig Dragon Ball a little bit more. I wasn't really big on Naruto, either. So, I, I mean, it's cool that we're getting another anime collab. They seem to do really well in Fortnite. That is a really good one. Wow. Overall, though, I mean, I'm not mad that my hero is collaborating with Fortnite. I'm just not going to be too into it, personally. And I don't really think I'm going to buy any of the skins. I'm waiting for, uh, what is it? Winter Sky. The Winter Sky skin. That's the only item shop skin I'm probably going to get this season. And then we have a couple of others. Obviously, Mr. Beast is expected soon. And I am okay with it. I mean, I watch Mr. Beast's videos sometimes. I don't watch them all the time. But, like, you know, if they appear in my feed, I'm like, yeah, why not? It's like, it's like junk food, you know? It's like junk food content. Or you kind of just watch it for, like, a little bit because there's nothing else to watch, if that makes any sense, you know? It's it's not even bad content, either. I get it, you know, he's, he's a celebrity at this point. He's, like, a rich guy. I know that he doesn't really play Fortnite, but I don't really think that matters. Fortnite will, will probably, like, collaborate with pretty much any content creator at this point. Unfortunately, that means that Dream has the potential to appear in Fortnite. And I don't really know how to feel about that. I don't hate it. I just don't really know how to feel about it. Mr. Beast, I think, is going to be a pretty good collaboration. I think it makes sense. He's he's a rich dude. He's pretty popular online. Arguably one of the most popular like content creators ever. So I respect the collab for sure. I wanted the skin for a little bit, but I don't really think I would run him all that much. So I'm kind of just like, I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm really going to get Mr. Beast. I, I don't... I don't know. I will say I do think him being in Fortnite is an okay thing. Like, I'm not going to shit on him or anything of that sort. I think Mr. Beast is okay as an icon skin. There's definitely going to be a lot of memes from that, though, and I'm okay. I'm especially okay with that. Like, the, the memes from Mr. B. I've already seen some where they take the one clip from that dumb rap battle of the dude saying, Mr. Beast, and then they just edit it over him. Just, like, flying around with the zero point thing, like, attached to his leg. That Like, that... I, I, I like those. I like those. Those are funny. So more of those I'm, I'm perfectly okay with. This bitch just started emoting. What? Hello? Yeah, you know what? 
Fuck your shit, honestly. Goodbye, doggo. We also have some... I think it's a basketball player coming to the game. I, I don't really watch basketball, so that one I don't really care much for. I mean, it's cool that he's getting put in the game, but I really just don't think he's gonna be that big? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Personally, I really do just want to see, like, Nintendo collaborations more than anything, because... I don't know, man. I just think it'd be cool to see Link in Fortnite, or, like, Samus, or even if they do something crazy, like they could put Mario in the game. God knows it's Epic Games. They'll figure something out. And there he goes. I think Chapter 4 will have some pretty good collabs, though. I mean, Chapter 3 collabs weren't all that bad. I feel like a lot of them weren't really memorable other than Spider-Man and a couple of others, I believe. In my opinion, Spider-Gwen was the best collab of Chapter 3. And, you know, now we're already seeing things like Doom Guy and... Mr. Beast, among others. So I, I think Chapter 4 collabs are already looking really good. And cosmetics in general are looking pretty good, too. I'm excited to see that, like, the free skins for Winterfest this year. One of them already looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's like that gingerbread guff. That's going to be ran a lot. I, I'm definitely going to run that. There's just a lot of stuff to look forward to, I believe, in terms of collaborations. Also, just the chapter in general. Again, like... I've already made two videos talking about the chapter. I'm not going to do another one, since this one's, like, mostly about the collabs and stuff. But they already have so much planned for, like, the future of Chapter 4 that I feel like it's sh really shaping up to be the best chapter of Fortnite, like, just in general. So I would argue that everything they're kind of going and working towards is gonna be pretty big and i'm looking forward to it like i've said in the past already like three times i'm really looking forward to these new things that they're adding into the game this chicken just assisted me I had to put him down because he started shooting at me but it's crazy I'm also sick right now, by the way. I, I, I mean, my voice probably doesn't sound like it, but I am. I'm still going to be pushing out content because I really just want to make content. But just know that I am a little sick at the moment. Content may be a little dry for a little bit. Hopefully not too long, though. I'm going to try and finish this match out. And we can call the video quits. No fucking way. No fucking way. This is not a Scooby-Doo episode. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Please let me know what you think of Chapter 4. And if you're excited for these future collabs. And I'm going to say it for the first time and the first time forever. Remember to like and subscribe.